beautiful welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi my name is Alexis Jada and welcome to today's video so for today's video I want to be trying out this new sponge that I received in my PO box this is the silicone infused super sponge hashtag super sponge makeup sponge so I open it up and then I get this scrubber right here and then I get this really cool sponge it's kind of like a sponge and a silicone it's it's weird yeah it's a silicone infused super sponge so this right here feels like silicone and then you turn it over and this right here feels like a sponge so let me read some more about it we're so excited to share with you the world's first makeup sponge that doesn't suck literally your foundation coverage can now extend by up to two to four times with our silicone infused technology it's a perfect sponge for sensitive or acne prone skin use the silicone side to glide foundation onto face then using the same silicone side bounce and blend if you notice areas where you have too much foundation or would like to touch up use the uncoated base to finish the job when it's ready for a clean lather a bar of soap on your sponge and scrubber oh so that's where this comes to play. See, I thought this was gonna be for my face. Okay, it says tips. Use it to apply lotion, primer, concealer, etc. Your silicone coating will naturally soften up after a few uses. It's a good thing. A bar of soap works much better for cleaning more than a liquid soap. Make sure to lather the soap well to help the scrubber with ease. Mm. So here is the sponge right now, not wet. And I'm gonna go get it wet right now. Okay, and here it is damp. I'm excited to see how this is gonna work. Like, I'm really excited. Since we are trying new goodies, well, a new sponge, I do want to go in and play with this new product that was sent. This is the Bliss X Glow Station. Station? X Glow Station. Super rich moisturizer for dewy, radiant skin. And then they sent me the drops, which is a radiant boosting eye cream oh, with vitamin C. Let's, let's go in with this. Directions, gently pat over eye area morning and night. Absorbs in a flash for a bright luminous look. Instantly smooths and helps visibly conquer the appearance of dark circles. There you go. Okay, so one, two. Doesn't have a smell to it or anything. Oh, you know what? Let's use the sponge. Let's go with the sponge. Ooh. Oh. It feels like silicone you know like okay we're just going to pat this in to hydrate our under eye good oh you guys see that glow you guys see that glow i see it okay so now we're gonna go into the super rich moisturizer for do do dewy radiant skin i've been living a dewy finish lately it has like a pink shimmer in it let me see if i can apply some to the back of my hand to show you guys you guys kind of see that like nice it's a light pink shimmer very light it's not even like a shimmer it's just like it gives it a nice glow okay and I'm gonna go in with the sponge and we're just gonna kind of like work that in our skin You see my face? It looks glowy. Like I could go out like this. Where it just looks like your face just looks luminous and woo! So pretty. So thank you so much to Bliss. That looks nice. Woo! Okay. So now let's go in with the Milani Conceal and Perfect. Perfect. Perfect two in one concealer foundation. And I am in the shade Sand Beige. And it says not to pick up the product like this. So I'm just going to use the silicone side and we're just going to apply. Okay. And I'm just going to lightly pat. It doesn't feel like those those silicone sponges, uh, you know, the boob looking insert ones. This feels like a like a sponge. Like it does it, it feels soft. Like it's workable, you know? I don't know. Like it feels a lot different. It, I wouldn't compare it with the other silicone sponges that we see like this one is completely completely different it's yeah it's so weird and where it's shaped like a beauty sponge it's a lot easier too and it's softer it's not like the other ones i have tried where it's flat this one is different so my sponge is dirty but not as dirty as it normally would look with a regular beauty sponge that 
blended that pretty good where I don't even have to go in with this side so I'm happy with that I might just like this a lot more than my regular sponge if it wasn't soft I don't think I would like it but where it is soft it's like it's working for me like it's applying it perfectly too it's not like patchy or anything Yeah, that looks pretty good. And I didn't have to like go and use like the butt or anything. Not yet. Like everything looks good. And it gave me really, really good coverage. Like really, really, really nice coverage. Like well, the foundation is already like full coverage and I like the foundation. But what I mean is like, I didn't have to go in and use more. So like it said, I don't, I'm not gonna be waste, wasting my product. It's just like, it looks good. I'm excited. Now going in with concealer, I will be using the Smashbox Studio Skin Flawless 24 Hour Wear. And I will be using light medium. Now going in with the Smashbox Studio, I will be using dark warm olive. Let's go in and blend. Oh, dang, so I'm going to have to use this just to kind of fix that mistake, I'm stupid. Ooh, and the fluffy side right here does feel really good. Like that feels really, really good. Like very soft. I wasn't expecting it to feel that soft. Like touching it, it feels soft. But when you put it on your face, it feels really, really soft. Dang, I really want to use it now. So I am just gonna go over my face and just go over it again. Make sure everything is well blended. Even though everything does look well blended, I just still wanna go over those areas just to make sure everything is nice. I really was not expecting it to work so good. I really was not. I was really like, mmm, but now I'm like, uh. So to set my concealer, we'll be using the Magic Star Setting Powder in Topaz. I wonder how it's going to pick up the powder. Make sure that everything is blended. There's no creasing or anything before I go in and set. Let's see. <sighs> so it applied it pretty freaking well. I wasn't thinking what? I was going to apply it so good. So now I'm just going to set right here with the fluffy, the sponge side I swear you <coughs> oh I tried to talk and it freak I really inhaled it okay um every time I use this it makes me want to eat cotton candy it makes me want to go out and get cotton candy I inhaled that baby okay I really liked how this applied the other day I was really like wow this is the LA colors bronzer and this is in the shade tan going in with my it cosmetics contour brush I'm just going to pick up some of that shade and add it right here very very pretty now going in with my it cosmetics highlighting brush I'm just going to just work the rest of that powder into my face making sure that it sets everything okay i'm just gonna do my eyes real quick i'm just gonna go in with my l'oreal infallible full wear this is in the shade latte and i'm just going to apply it like that going in with my all-time favorite makeup check t29 i'm just going to that in. Now I'm going to go in with LA Girl Just Blushing. This one is in Just Bare using my It Cosmetics highlight brush. I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to tap that all over my lid. 
Okay, going game with one of my favorite drugstore mascaras. This is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with some lashes, going in Lashes by Dev, and this is my favorite style, Mary Jane. Okay, going in with blush, you guys already know, I'm obsessed with this one, been obsessed with it for like a hot minute. This is the ColourPop in Quarters. Let me just add. Okay, so now for highlight, going in with my pretty vulgar. This one is Shimmering Swan, Sparkling Sass. Going get in with my lip color. This is the Morphe Sugar Pie. This is such a pretty color for like all over the lips. Just because it's a lip liner, I don't think that you just have to use it to line your lips. Slap that baby all over your lips. Now going in with one of my favorite glosses. This is a Smashbox Gloss Angeles Hustle and Glow. Now going in with my Ofra Makeup Fixer. And this one does leave little dots at times. I'm gonna go in with that sponge and just kind of just pounce over that. And just make sure everything is set. And we have a nice glow going on. So here's my face up close if you guys wanna see. Like everything blended beautifully. Like I really like how everything went on everything looks nice i got a really nice glow going on i don't want to just give it all to pretty vulgar i think it has to do with the bliss as well because my face looks really nice and radiant <laughs> so that is everything i'm done what i have to say about the sponge it was very very interesting i really like it i feel like it applied everything beautifully and even when i did need to use this it was super this is like super freaking soft even the silicone part, it feels soft itself. I give this a 10 out of a 10. I was not disappointed. There wasn't something that I could not do with this. I set my powder with it. I blended out my contour with it. It was amazing. Like it worked so freaking good. So the silicone infused super sponge, 10 out of a 10. I really liked playing with it. I feel like it got the job done and I can definitely see myself using this. Again, if you guys have been eyeballing it and you're like, hmm, or if you guys don't even know about it, definitely give it a try. It freaking, it, it was good. So. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this try on slash review. If you guys did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you guys haven't already to keep updated my videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. So it is 1111 and I just wanna show you guys how everything did last throughout the day. I know the sponge has nothing to do with like how, how long my makeup is going to last, but I did wanna show you guys just how everything looked. I even posted a video on Instagram. And you guys were complimenting me so much. My skin looks so freaking good today. Just within combination with everything that I had, that I used, I used this, the new moisturizer from Bliss, the eye cream. I feel like it just made everything look so freaking good. This I really do like just because of how it had that nice, like radiant glow. And you could really see that coming through. I feel like you could really, it, it looked really good. I didn't get like extremely oily. I just got oily on my nose. We all know that my nose guess hello hello oily but i just feel like it everything else just like went on so so nicely and i'm definitely going to use this again i really like <laughs> i keep like grabbing it and playing with it just because like how soft it is it's just so freaking crazy yeah i just wanted to give you guys an update just to show you guys at the end of the day how everything wore and everything and if this made me oily or anything because there is sometimes some moisturizers or things that you do use that can kind of sometimes make you more oily and that did not do that so i did want to give you guys an update on that and I can't wait to add that into my skincare routine now and use that more. So you guys know I'm huge on skincare. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I post a lot of my skincare, me doing all that on my Instagram. So make sure to check that out if you guys want to see what I use or, you know, like what I've been loving so far. And the eyelashes are so freaking pretty. I just, this is like an everyday wear, every freaking day wear, every, every, 
everyday wear. So yeah, just wanted to give you guys an update on that and show you guys how everything lasted. I hope you guys have an amazing day and thank you so much for stopping by. Te quiero mucho. Besos a todos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I did want to mention, if I did not mention it earlier, it does have some glitter in the sponge, but the glitter does not transfer from the sponge, which is so crazy. Cause like looking at it at first, I was like, am I going to get glitter on my hand? Like, am I going to get glitter on my face? But it does not transfer, which is kind of crazy. Or maybe it did and I just did not see, but I highly doubt that it did. Cause I would have seen it on my face, but it does not transfer. Like, See, so if I go like that, you guys can kind of see some of the glitter but it's like in the sponge which is crazy so yeah i just wanted to touch on that real quickly um i did not see it transfer from the sponge itself like i didn't i didn't see it on on my skin at all like i don't i don't see it so i don't know and as i continue to use it more throughout um, my makeup routine I will definitely let you guys know if it like just removes it completely from like all the washes and stuff like that so I'll definitely let you guys know if it does still have the glitter on it or if it just disappears completely I would definitely let you guys know but yeah just wanted to pop in real quick and let you guys know that